Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, we are going to discuss about switch or in Oracle Data Card. We are using the Oracle Data Card setup mainly for the high availability, or in other term, we call it as a disaster recovery. So whenever there is something is happening on the primary location, we should have a secondary location available so that the user will not come to know yeah the primary database server is down or something like that so this is the setup or which i'm going to demonstrate to you guys how it is going to happen let's say this is my primary database okay and this is the standby database and these are the users who is trying to connect to the databases so in a general method what is going to happen when user is trying to make the connection basically it will try to make the connection with the primary database server okay so whenever user is trying to make the connection to the primary database server he will get the appropriate data like this okay now what is happening why we are coming with the situation called switch over let's say when primary database is up and running that time standby database will be in mount stage so in most of the environment you will find this standby database will be using as a secondary resource only okay so if it is a physical standby database it will be in mount stage so you cannot do anything on this server so let's talk about the primary database first let's say we are in a situation where we need to do a patching activity on the primary database server or in second example let's say i want to do some hardware changes on the primary database server so what is going to happen we will stop this primary database server right so if i am stopping this primary database server how the user will get data so anyway user will try to make the connection to the primary database server only but as the primary database server is down as the primary database is down user will not get the data so this is the business loss here if it is a banking sector we cannot afford this kind of the downtime so what we will do we have our standby database server we will treat this standby database server as a primary database server and we will mark this primary database server as a standby database server so in other term what we are going to perform we are switching the role of the databases switching the role means primary database server will be treat as a standby database and standby database will be treat as a primary database server so if I want to make any hardware changes on the primary database server, old primary database server, which is currently a standby database server, I can do it. Because when user will try to make the connection to the database and he will try to fetch some data from the database, it will make the connection to the standby database. And user also will not get come to know yeah, from where this data is coming. So in switch over we are mainly changing the role of the database for that purpose only we are using the switch over concept so this is a planned activity this is not a unplanned activity whenever you want to perform any activity on the primary database server you can change the role of databases okay so that user will get a data anytime we called it as a high availability okay or if i'm taking another example let's say there is some flood or natural disaster is happening on one location so all the applications which are using this primary database server will be down right so this is not a right way so where i can have provided as a data card setup what is going to happen we will switch the role because whatever the data which are available on the primary database that is going to reflect on the standby database because this 
Redo stream is always passing from primary database to standby database. So if the disaster is happening on the primary database server or on the location of primary database server, we are going to change the role of primary database as a standby and standby database as a primary database. So user will get the data 24 across 7. There will not be any downtime, single point of downtime. And whenever you are switching the role, there will not be, but there should not be a single data loss. Okay, so this is all about the switch over in a Oracle data guard setup. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon with the next video.